Yeah, hello scrappers. Welcome back to Oki Scrapper Channel. Thought today I'd go ahead and scrap out this uh, easy go charger. I don't have the uh, cables that and cord to go to uh, to the plug to plug into the golf cart or whatever. So looks like it's a 36 volt battery charger. Yeah, if it was all there, I'd probably I'd sell, definitely test it out and find out if it worked and sell it. But uh, it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and pull some screws out. Thing's pretty heavy. Of course, first thing. Cut the plug off, throw it in the bucket. Cut the cord off. Hope everybody's doing good out there and getting ready for the winter. Winter for me means more workbench time. I probably won't be doing any pickups unless I uh, get low on stuff out here to process. And then I'll uh, then I might run a add on a, on the face on the Facebook uh, on the Newcastle group and Blanchard group. For those of you starting out that trying to figure out how to get calls and stuff, best probably the easiest way and cheapest I could think of is check your local groups on Facebook. From what I understand, the buy sell trade groups don't do really good. You might do some, get some on there. But uh, like I did, I just kind of advertised picking up appliances and other scrap. A lot of people, the washer dryer goes out, they buy one on Craigslist or something, so they got no one to haul off the old one. You know, they don't want to pay somebody. Probably can't afford to pay somebody. So, kind of doing them service if you haul it off for free, and then you can make some money. I'm not sure. What scraps going for everywhere? Else. I called a uh, metal check today, asked them about sh shred price, tin price, and they uh, told me they're not buying any more right now until the first of the year. I thought that's interesting. But the way that yard was looking a few months back, I can see why they they would stop. They really had nowhere to put it. Okay, I don't know what you guys can see, but uh, looks like we got an aluminum heat sink plate here. A big old transformer. Here's we got our timer. And we got our DC amp gauge, which I might hang on to some of these components. Got a reset button. Push to reset. It's interesting, it just has one wire that goes back to this heat sink. That's interesting. So, instead of doing all these screws and everything for right now, I'm just going to cut it and then I'll clean it up better later. Got a capacitor down here. That's a big transformer though, there should be some good copper in that. So, grab the cutters. Yeah, with this supply chain disruption, I thought, well, those easy go cutting discs I use, I thought, thought I'd better go ahead and get some more. I'm buying 50 at a time for about $27. So, 
And I've still got it. I've still got about 30 of them, something like that left. But since I'll be doing a lot of processing stuff, I'll uh, thought I'd better go ahead and stock up on some more just in case. I don't want to run out. But uh, they have these in the blue. I've never tried the blue. I should have. I guess I should have ordered a package of the blue and tried them out. But I like these. They look. They don't wear down real fast, unless you're really, really pushing into it. Well, that feels like pretty stiff wire there. I might have to get the. Yeah. I may have to get the other cutters. And they're out. I think they're out in the other truck. I have to go in the house and get the keys. Cut that one okay. Looks like some good take number one. And if that's what's on that transformer, that would be sweet. Yeah, some good thick stuff there. Well, let's see. I gotta try to get this knob off of here. And there's a couple of screws. So let me get a flat screwdriver and see if I can gently get under it and try to pry it off of there without breaking it. I guess if I break it, it'll. Oh, yep, there it went. It broke. Oh well. So much for that, huh? Guess what? So I want to kind of save this stuff and save that stuff. And I thought, really, do I have the room? I got. So I don't have any room now. I got a big old, <laughs> big old area in there, but the rafters are half full. Uh, Three workbenches in there, and they're all cluttered with stuff. <coughs> and that's basically the same timers we get out of uh, a lot of washing machines and, and other stuff. So nothing, uh, nothing really exciting. Trying to see how that amp gauge is held in there. I guess it's just these nuts holding with that this bracket right here. It's got the lip around the outside here, and then this bracket here holding it tight. So I got to get about five sixteenths. Yes, yeah, it's working. Yeah, another YouTuber called the letter C, the letter U, scrapping, CU scrapping. He told me about these uh, Quinn, which is Harbor Freight nut driver set, about 20 bucks, and uh, turning T handles. Pretty sweet. So stuff like this, they come in pretty handy. Most of the time, I'm using bits on the end of the the drill, but Occasionally, especially with that bolt hanging out, those those bits you can't really get in there. But uh, with these, they got the hole that goes down through the center, so make it pretty easy. Yeah, who knows? I may put that on a lawnmower. You never know. It might be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Put the nuts back on there. Hang on to that. I do like to hang on to some parts. I was hoping to do some winterization on the, the shop today when I got home, but wife had other plans. We've got a little bitty circuit board here. Like most everything is, <clears throat> I guess I need that five sixteenths again, possibly. Yeah, 
Yeah, I showed you this go yonder disc. That way, uh, if you guys need anything like that, you can go to my uh, Amazon affiliate page. There'll be a link in the description below. Got on there last night and ordered some of those Diablo carbide teeth sawzall blades. That's not one. I'm gonna have to get on that with a screwdriver, I think. I think this leg is in the way here. Probably a low grade board for those that scrap those things. I really don't know much about them. I've got a couple barrels full of them. I'll pull that off the off the metal later. Probably tomorrow or Kind of limited tonight. Okie dokie. We just about got this thing tore down. I wasn't sure exactly how much how much goodies was in these things. Yeah, it looks like seven sixteenths. So. Trying to get a few things tore down around here anyway, so when I can. <clears throat> Not enough hours in the day though, and with it getting dark at six o'clock now, that doesn't help. I get home at four o'clock, by the time I get dinner and everything, it's you know five. So six o'clock comes pretty quick. And I'm pretty much inside here. This thing's going to drop in a second. There it went. Well, I wonder what that thing weighs. Let's go ahead and. scale real quick. Yeah, try to keep this video short and sweet. But before I move this, let me uh, let 
try to hit that with a grinder on both sides and make sure it's all copper. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, that's all copper. I could try to cut it down in this video, but I don't know. Let's give it a put it on the scale. Twenty-three and a half pounds. Yeah, let's see. I guess I could cut it down for those that are interested. I want to stick around a little bit. Looks like I'll have to put another blade on the angle grinder though. Here's one of the nice things about having a, a dirt floor in your shop. You can just brush it off onto the floor. I need to get a leaf rake in here though. I'm getting some leaves. We ought to get the leaf blower. Okay. I'll bring this back over. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get these brackets here out of the way before I can start cutting into it. And that looks Seven sixteenths, maybe. Let's see. No. I bet it's three eighths. Five sixteenths. Three sixteenths. Yeah, to get in the groove there. I don't know if it's just a lot of shellac. May have to get a finer tip screwdriver. Yeah, so if you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Hit that notification bell, you know. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would. Take a look around the channel and uh, watch a few videos, see what you think. See if I earn your subscription. This is some thick stuff right there. Yeah, I was going to end the video, but I thought, well, I got a little bit of time. If you guys don't want to sit and watch the whole thing, you can always skip through. That one there still won't fit in there. It's got to be pretty thin. That one should fit. It's pretty thin. Yeah, this thing's almost... It's got a bunch of junk in it where a screwdriver won't fit in there.
get this out of the way and then I'll have to throw a disc on there and that one I got on it's somewhat worn. And what I was having trouble was getting down in there. So yeah, I think that cleaned it out. Okay, let's see. Well, actually, I need to tap up the other one, not that one. And get in there with the nut. Nut driver. Doing this left handed. It's awkward for me. Okay. The other two screws came out pretty easy. These two here don't want to. Okay, two pretty good little L brackets. Here's the star of the show. Just sitting there looking at me, saying, get me on camera. Here, turn around this way, say hi to everybody. I'm trying to see where this weld is, if I can spot it. Boy, you're fat, peanut butter. Yeah, you're getting fat. I don't mind getting getting some extra weight on them here before cold weather hits in. I got a feeling this is every other one, so there's no there's no weld going across there, so these are probably staggered. Unfortunately. So I'm just gonna have to cut it and pry it out of there somehow. Some of these can be a challenge. Yeah. Move that to the side. Push all the goodies off again. I don't know. Nuts just went on the floor, but I'll get my magnet out and get them all up. Disc on there so it'll cut deeper. I think we'll give a quick little lesson here for if there's anybody out there in the audience that hasn't uh, run an angle grinder. 
this little bit here you can see it's raised up on this side the other side's not the one on the grinder you see it's raised up so that's to set that in as you can see that's pretty flush that center actually sticks up maybe just a hair so with the, with the grinding disc you can put this piece go down like this and because the grinding disc is pretty thick so that helps center it but with these if you do that it's, you're going to have steel against steel here it'll be steel against steel and you'll actually be able to turn the, the disc so always make sure that that raised part is sticking up when you're doing a cutting disc tip of the day for those that have never used a cutting disc on an angle grinder angle grinders work really good for scrapping stuff out and even got a flat disc for it I got a wire wheel for it I'm going to try this flat disc I've got a couple stainless steel sinks and to get all this stuff cleaned off of there I figured the flap disc might work really good I'm gonna give it a try anyway if that doesn't work then I might try the, the uh, wire disc Here's the wire disc I was talking about. I think it's pretty brutal. I need to probably order another one of those so I have a backup there. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. we didn't get very deep and the problem is, is the wheel is riding up against the edge of, of that so I guess we'll take it the rest of the way with the Sawzall. swap it out here's a good bunch of these discs in one of the trucks I gotta figure out where I put them about a pretty good pack of them A lot cheaper that way. Yeah. I put a bunch of them in the truck here about a month or so ago to take out on the big job with me. And, and they're still in there. I think they're in the white Ford.
back this way a little bit. forward to this. But I thought I'd go from the end that way I don't have to cut through that wood. You can tell we're getting somewhere by all the copper dust. fine stuff right there. back for vacuuming this stuff up. We've got a ways to go. I guess I still can. That's a pretty new blade too on that other one. And break out the old craftsman. Little corded. Okay, I guess the screw wasn't real tight. Yeah, I don't think the screw was even in it. Get using that battery operated one so much, you forget all about the corded ones. Corded ones have a lot more power and a lot more speed. And they're great for in the shop, as long as you have plenty of plug-ins.
Okay, that doesn't take too long. Man. camera will pick this up or not but that's some nice thick uh, wire in there let's grab these two pieces here and put them on the scale see what it says one pound eleven ounces almost one and three quarter pounds just on those two little two little ends so if that's almost two pounds there's another two they gotta be at least six pounds all together on this thing. Okay, now we get to somehow knock that out of there. So I'm gonna pause the camera real quick. Okay, I got this old one gallon air compressor tank. I'm gonna set it on top of. I had a couple other blocks, but I'm just thinking now they might just keep falling over. But uh Got this tank. Then I got me a railroad spike with the end cut off where it makes a nice blunt, nice square punch. Starting to move. The outer edges want to go faster, so I got to hold the punch to the inner side. Get to your arm when you're not used to this. We're just about there. Yeah, pretty close. Not much left. There, that one went. There we go. That worked out pretty good. I need a shorter one. Definitely. Now set these two on the scale, see what we get. Yeah, we're over six pounds. Nice. Let me take the camcorder over there so you guys can see. Plugged the cable from the camcorder and the monitor went dead. Here it is all on the scale. A little over six and six pounds, fifteen ounces. Just less than an ounce. Less than an ounce away from seven pounds. So that's not a bad score. Three something a pound.
almost $24 in that, that little thing right there. So that's definitely, definitely worth it. Not sure how long this video is, but uh, you can imagine if you had enough of those, you could make some good money. <laughs> if, you had, if you could tear them down all day long. Of course, uh, you'd probably be wore out after a couple of them. Well, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I got some good wire there. I got a strip. I brought this in the other day. I'm not sure. Might be able to pick it up better in this light. Yeah, I think that's getting a pretty good shot on it. Debating on should I use this if I need some two, good 220 wire? We'll go ahead and strip it out. The way the color is on it and the way it looks, I'd probably be safer to strip it than to use it. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to get off here, get in here, get this up, uh, put together, uploaded, and call it a night. It's 7 p.m. So get ready for tomorrow. Another day. Okay, so you guys uh, have a good one, and happy scrapping, folks. Bye-bye.